<laughs> okay, Thank so you. you have five minutes and it's a hard stop. So hit me with your question. First of all, great fan of your work. Thank you. Keep it up. I'd like to put that out there. Um, and I appreciate this opportunity. Thanks, Nick. So in a nutshell, I'm looking at changing direction uh, professionally from advertising marketing sector um, and going into coaching. Um, probably more, I'm more likely personal coaching than professional coaching, but possibly both. And I just wanted to get your opinion on um, if you think it's a sustainable market. I, I feel it's a bit faddish at the moment, but it's something very strong on my heart. And I don't want to commit to a long-term study and getting into all kinds of commitments if if it's something that might not be around in two, three, five years' time, you know. Um, so, yeah, I wanted an opinion there. That was the one. And then secondly, just, um, you know, just root of, of credentials because I want to study. So uh, with it better to go with like a place like UCT that you have this pedigree, but maybe no practical experience or you go the route where you get free practical experience internationally accredited, but maybe not as well known a, um, a qualification. So, yeah. That, that was my, my questions. The thing is, I don't think coaching will ever go out of fashion. I think that um, coaching is a layered complexity of finding the right customer, having the message that appeals to that customer, and going out of your way to ensure that that customer knows that you're talking to them specifically. It's one of those things that the deeper you go into a niche, the more likely you are to find your audience, and that audience is timeless. Um, and for me, you'll know very well that my audience, for example, is SMEs. And I talk about them all the time. I talk about startups and side hustles and small business. That's my niche. I do coaching off the side of that niche and I coach founders. So I would say that if it's something you believe you can help people to do uh, with your doing, then there's always going to be someone that you can. Yeah. Your goal is going to be, and I can sniff this a mile away with coaching because I experience it every day. Your main problem is going to be imposter syndrome and getting over the fear that nobody wants you to help Great. because um, yeah. so that's the, the first thing. Um, just to refresh my memory, the second question was? I think the second one actually leads into that is, does a the, the nature of your qualification agree? Will that, will that reduce my imposter syndrome? I suppose maybe that's why I'm asking. Uh, um, no, it won't. Imposter syndrome. <laughs> with you um so the higher you achieve the more the imposter syndrome tells you where you are so you need to get comfortable with that feeling and flex those muscles and learn to live with the imposter syndrome it's just part of the game um in terms of accreditation i would say here that your life experience is one that's pretty important um getting the accreditation will help you feel a bit better um, and you can go out and sell that accreditation like oh i'm a coach and i've got this behind me and that behind me so it'll help you with the sales Definitely. Um, I would argue that in a post-corona world, your market is not just South African. So maybe the international one is probably better. Um, unless you've got a, a cohort of people who are already knowing you and looking for that from you, then start with UCT, start with South Africa and build up your repertoire. But for my money, it's the same amount of effort for you to sell a local person on your skills as it is a global person. And in a global market, you'll earn dollars, pounds or euros. So why not start with them um, and get the accreditation internationally and start selling internationally? Because I promise you now it's going to take you the same amount of effort to build a client base here as it would anywhere else. And with the world of Zoom, you have got endless amount of clients in the world. Fantastic. Thank you. Thanks, Nick. I appreciate that. Very helpful. Thank Re you. I would say stick around and watch the next one. Awesome. Research imposter syndrome as deeply as you can because that is going to be the thing you need to overcome. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Nick. I appreciate that. Have a good evening. Thanks. Thank you. Cheers.